cool house. A bit creepy, but I kind of like that. I need to find a map or something. I have no idea where the nearest bus stop is. I take it the patients have to wait a long time around here. I guess there's not much of a business in cognitive abnormality these days. This place is practically deserted. I saw a plaque by the door. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? What does that mean, exactly? The center was Dr. Stiles' idea. He started it with his friend, Dr. Hellborn. But what does that mean? Cognitive abnormality. Didn't that school tell you anything? Dr. Stiles worked with patients who had strokes or brain injuries and the like. Always said those kinds of cases helped him understand the workings of the brain better than looking at a healthy one. Interesting outfit. Something tells me he's not just hanging out there for his health. A lion and unicorn. The architecture in England almost makes up for its weather. Your ID, please. Driver's license? Student ID. Oh, that. I left it in my room. Sorry. Not so fast. Them's the rules and there's the street. Have a nice day. Hey. Cool. A magic shop. That is a Daedalus Club puzzle box, isn't it? I recognize the club logo. Do you? And what would an American like you know about the Daedalus Club? I've been in Europe for almost two years now. I know a lot of street magicians on the continent. Ah, I thought you had the look. Watch carefully. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Very nice, my dear. My name is Mephistopheles. And who are you? Samantha Everett. Sam. But my stage name is Lady Byron. Nope. Never heard of you. Pretty nice view up here. Worked! It's a piece of gold. And the second paper looks like a coat of arms. Maybe it's a clue to the next location. There are four more hidden somewhere around Oxford. Come on, what do you want, blood? I told you I'd delete your scene. And I'm supposed to trust you. Please, I'm whining now, I'm whimpering. You're killing me here. Maybe you'll think twice next time. I have nothing more to say to you. My prof has this little experiment going on tonight. It's um, a neurobiology thing. Easy as pie, and it pays 15 pounds for just a few hours of work. Boy, have you got the wrong guy. I won't even go to the dentist. The last time I had blood drawn, they had to call in the National Guard. Harvey Super 8 tape. It's about the same size. Yeah, I can take her down, no problem. But first, I need to pick the right trick. Yes, that should work.
saw you talking to Harvey Kinderman. I wanted to warn you about him. Seriously. You're a little late. You're joking. Did he film you? As a matter of fact, he did. You don't mean to say he filmed you too? Yeah. I was at a party a couple of nights ago, and I was feeling sick, so I went outside to, you know, be sick. I looked up, and that degenerate was filming me, puking, in the bushes. He's a worm. I'm glad I'm making him suffer. You are? How? I've got the film he took of me, and it's the only copy, too. I made sure of that. Are you sure? Have the cartridge. This is the name of the film he said he was making. It's on the label. Can I see? Careful with that. You know what I'd do if I were you? See that barrel over there? What are you? Wait a minute. minute! Now you'll be sure that no one will ever see it. What a nut! Tell me you didn't just burn my film! Hey, this is it? What are you, like the amazing Preskin or something? I never saw you make the switcheroo. Yeah, forget it. But don't forget about tonight. You promise. I'll be there, never fear. Hey, I got my film back. And the best part is, Lisa thinks it's destroyed. <laughs>